So in my last video, I built an air cannon. The main part of that cannon being a custom piston valve, which I specifically designed to be easily interchangeable with different barrels and chambers. In this video, I'll be taking advantage of that feature, and I'll show how you can make a specialty cannon barrel that shreds your projectiles. In this way, I can fire a barrage of french fries like a shotgun, and provide all my neighbors with fresh cut apple slices from the comfort of my own backyard. I have quite an appropriate sponsor for this video, the company Blue Apron. Check the video description for a discount code, and I'll talk more about them later. First things first, the chamber of my previous cannon is too small to provide enough air for a larger barrel, so I'll put together a new one. I used a T-fitting at the end of a length of 2-inch pipe to make a chamber that has two legs going outward. This will allow the cannon to sit upright on a flat surface. As with my last build, all pipe and fittings must be pressure rated. End caps close off both legs, and to attach the chamber to my cannon, a threaded 2-inch elbow is cemented to the far opening. After some dry time and an application of Teflon tape to the threads, my chamber attaches directly to the piston valve. Now for the real task, assembling the barrel. This is an apple slicer set that I found for about $10 online, and it has three blade configurations. While wandering the aisles of my local hardware store with these slicers in hand, I found that they were a perfect fit in the outer rim of a 3x4 inch closet flange. It's a great feeling when a project fits together so easily. By installing four carriage bolts through the evenly distributed holes in the flange, a second flange placed upside down can be used to secure the cutter. The built-in rotation lock makes for a very convenient feature. For this outer flange, I'd really like it to allow a clear view of the blades so the extra bit of pipe was cut flush. Purely an aesthetic choice. The remaining flange is glued to what will be the business end of my cannon barrel, a 2 foot long section of 3 inch diameter PVC pipe. The output of my piston valve uses a 1.5 inch threaded fitting, so at the other end of this pipe I glue on a reducer, paired with a threaded fitting to match my valve. And the cannon is just about finished. Because the barrel is quite heavy, a wooden support will take some of the strain off the valve. A large hose clamp works well to keep it from going anywhere. It takes about 24 hours for PVC cement to fully cure, so since I was going to be waiting that long to fire this cannon anyway, I figured I may as well make it look nice. After the fresh paint and dry time, here is the finished product. Obviously, I was looking to get some flying french fries out of this build, but I ran into one small problem. It's hard to find a potato that is a good fit in 3 inch pipe. I'll need to load them using a sabot of some kind. Cabbage, I think, is a good candidate. We'll just wrap the potato in a few leaves, press it down the barrel, lock the cutter in place, and we're good to go. I'll charge the cannon to about 60 PSI and see how it works. Whoa, okay. Quite a success, I think. There is one type of ammunition that I found fit very well in the pipe all on its own. Apples. And it just so happens I have an apple cutter that I can switch in as well. So my sponsor for this video is Blue Apron. This is a pretty cool company to me because I really enjoy cooking, but don't have much time to plan ahead and think about recipes and purchasing ingredients in advance. Blue Apron does that part for you by delivering ingredients and recipes three at a time in some pretty cool thermal packaging that I was quite impressed by. Everything looked quite fresh and in great shape when I opened my first package. There are nicely presented instructions for each recipe, and Blue Apron adds new ones to the selection every week. It's a good way to get a lot of variety in your meals. The first hundred people to use the link in my video description will get three meals free, and there's no long-term commitment, so you really can't lose by giving Blue Apron a try. I've enjoyed everything I've had a chance to try so far. I hope you liked this video. Be sure to leave me some feedback in the comments below, and thank you for watching.